Hello, I'm Nadia, the Assistive Technology Specialist with Accessibility Services. During my time as a student, it took lots of trial and error to determine which study methods were most effective for me. I quickly came to realize that silently reading material and highlighting information just wasn't enough for me to actually consolidate all the information. It wasn't until I started using flashcards to study that I noticed I was able to memorize information much more thoroughly. However, while the results were great, writing out hundreds of flashcards by hand was proving to be very time consuming. That's when I discovered Quizlet, which made a world of a difference. Quizlet is a digital flashcard app that allows you to create customized flashcards, which can be used on your computer, tablet, or smartphone. It's free to use, but also has a few premium options that you can pay for to gain more features. Let's take a look at what Quizlet looks like. This is the home screen where all of your study sets and folders are stored. Having study sets is a way to organize your material into categories or topics. We can start by creating a new study set by clicking on the plus sign at the bottom of the screen and selecting Create Study Set. Here we'll give it a name. And now we're ready to enter in our terms and definitions. A great feature of this app is that it has the ability to predict common terms and suggest definitions for you to use. Of course, if you're going to be using the predicted suggestions, you're going to want to double check that these definitions are accurate and match what you're learning in your course. Now, once you've added your terms and definitions and you're ready to study, we're going to go back to the home screen. Here, I'm going to open up my parts of a cell study set. And you'll see there are a number of different ways you can study with Quizlet. Let's take a look at how some of these work. I'm going to start with flashcards. This is your classic flashcard activity. If you'd like to have the term read out to you, you can select the speaker icon at the bottom. Cytoplasm. And then you can proceed to test your knowledge. If you'd like to check the definition, you can click on the card. And when you're ready to move on, you can swipe to the right. Next, let's check out the learn activity. This is a multiple choice format where you are given the definition and you have to choose the correct term from a list of options. It will tell you if you're correct or it will provide the correct answer if you were incorrect. Next, we have the matching activity. I personally really love this activity. Here, your goal is to match the definition with the correct term. The last activity I want to show you is the test activity, which essentially creates a mock test for you. It includes written multiple choice and true and false questions and is an awesome way to thoroughly test your knowledge and ensures that you can answer questions in a variety of formats. I also wanted to note that I'm currently using Quizlet on my Android smartphone and there are even more study activities available on the web version. One last great thing about Quizlet is that you have the ability to share your study set with others as well as search for pre-existing sets. This can be a really great way to save time or to see material in a different format. That being said, I still personally prefer to make my own study sets to ensure that the information is accurate and make sure that it reflects what I've been learning in my class. Quizlet is an awesome tool for learning and studying, and the best part about it is that you can use it anytime and anywhere. Whether you're on the bus or waiting at the dentist's office, you can easily access your study sets on your phone. 
I hope you found this video helpful and I can't wait for you to try Quizlet out for yourself. To learn more about apps for productivity, focus, and studying, check out the Remote Learning Tools page on our website.